Hello, Yashua. I am going to make the stuffing for the Nya Gopa Italian or fusion. Okay, so bear with me. This is not for show, this is for real cooking. All right, so what I got here is. The two cups of washed rice. It's just regular rice. My nyako pa um, turkey is sticky rice, but this Italian one I'm doing with a regular rice. Okay. So, can you see better? This is real cooking, no editing, no fancy stuff. This is the cooked rice. I mean, the this is the regular rice, actually. And then I'm going to have two. This is four cups of water, okay? Four cups of water. I'm going to soak this rice for just a little bit. Well, I'm going to grill uh, the ingredients to put it in there, okay? So hold on just one second. So in this frying pan, you can use the same, same frying pan, okay? You can use the same one, but because I forgot to, I'm going to do differently. If for those, yeah, okay? I'm going to put some olive oils in here. That's about a tablespoon, okay? For those people who likes to do measurement, that's for one tablespoon, okay? And what I have here is garlic, ginger, and onions. Okay, it could be the purple one or the regular one. Either one is fine. I'm going to fry this in here. Okay, so when you know the oil is hot enough, it has to be sizzled. Okay, so how you can test this, you put a chopstick here or a wooden chopstick here and you know that it's like sizzle, then you know that the oil is good. Okay. For those people who are impatient after I uh, finish, you could just fast forward to the part you like. Okay, so it looks pretty good. It's kind of hot now. I'm going to put in my garlic first because the garlic, it has to be like um, golden brown to smell good. If you just put everything together, then your garlic not gonna smell good. Okay, so I'm going to fry this. when your garlic is like golden brown. Okay, it's kind of like brown now. It smells really good now, so I'm going to add my onion. my ginger. You're going to bring the beautiful aroma of the onion, garlic, and ginger first before you pour into your rice. 
or if you don't want to have to dirty too many pots after this ready you can just pour your rice and add your water it's fine too either way whatever is easier for you i'm doing this way because i want to show you something a little bit different I'm going to put in the uh, liver and the gizzard that I chopped. For the Hmong people, you don't want to put the heart in because some Hmong, they carry the plant's name, Yang, they don't eat those. Okay, so I'm going to cook this. Now I'm going to pour this into the rest of my cooking. That smells really good. All right, so when I pour this in, the next ingredient I'm going to put is the chicken bouillon flavor. I'm gonna put one full teaspoon of that And the Italian seasoning, I'm going to put one teaspoon of the Italian seasoning too. I'm going to add some celery and then some carrots in here. The reason I cook the liver and the um, first because I want to taste the broth okay now I'm going to add in one fourth cup of oyster sauce and of course if you have this mushroom seasoning the um, Golden Mountain soy, uh, seasoning soy sauce, you can add that in too, but I ran out today. So, now you just have to wait. After the water like um, evaporate, soaked in, and your rice is ready, and you can stuff it into the turkey. We are making the stuffer for the Italian Nyakopa Italian fusion turkey and this is made with uh, I use brown rice but you could use sticky rice you could use any kind of wild rice you could use any kind of rice that you like but being that it's a turkey it's an Italian turkeys I'm using the regular brown rice which I think that will go perfect and if you have sun-dried tomatoes, you can add the sun-dried tomatoes. Or if you have tomatoes, you can add tomatoes in there. But I am not going to add the tomato in there, but that's your options, your other options. Oh, it's really, really good. And then also, one teaspoon of salt. Yes, I forgot. Need to add one teaspoon of salt in there too. If I didn't taste that, I wouldn't know. This is real life cooking. Đó là của cho turkey stuffer to uh, go to Italian 
She more editing than now because this is real life cooking. I'm not editing any of this so that you can see. Mmm. It tastes really, really good. Yeah, potato. You can add potatoes in here too. Um I am going to add one tablespoon of the um, tomato sauce. Actually, two teaspoons. You have tomato. You add tomato in there. You don't need to. Add, you don't need to add your uh, pizza sauce or your your spaghetti sauce you don't need to add that because i do not have tomato on hand with me and i'm going to do a little cheat sheet okay you can cheat a little bit to be true italian you must have tomato if you do not have tomatoes in there you are not it's not true italian Like I said, if you have sun-dried tomatoes, you could add that in there. Okay, I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some salt to the water. You have to cook until the water is absorbed to the rice before you stuff into your turkey. If you just like mix everything and stuff in your turkey, then the rice will not be cooked. So the rice have to be cooked halfway before you stuff inside your turkey. Okay. So after this one, I will bring you to the turkey and we will stuff it. If you are cooking with the cocoa rice, there's many brand of rice, like jasmine rice or the cocoa rice. Then you only use, I use four cups of water, two cups of rice, four cups of water. But if you use the cocoa rice, use only three cups of water because this is the brown rice. The brown rice, it takes, it's like, uh, takes longer for the rice to cook because the grain is a little bit like um, harder to cook so you need more water to cook but with the cocoa whole rice you only need three cups and then for like the sticky rice you only need two cups the ratio is one to one or one to one and a half okay You can tell that the rice is not ready. If the rice looks like this, you know when you touch it, it's still like grainy like this. Then you know the rice will not be good if you stuff it into the turkey. You have to make sure you cook so that all this water absorb. And I will show you. Stay tuned until all we are done, okay? going to taste this. Oh my goodness, it's really, really good. Your guests will be so happy and pleased with you when they eat this 
stuffing. It's gonna be like the talk of the town. The ginger really, really brings the flavor in this stuffing. So what I'm saying is that the ginger is probably like the secret to this one, to this stuffing. The other one is the lemongrass. And this one is the ginger. And of course, it's the garlic and the onions too. But the ginger is what will kick, will give a kick to it. If you are cooking with less water, then you need to lessen the salt. I put one teaspoon of salt in here because I use four cups of water. But if you are using three cups of water, you might just want it to do only a half teaspoon of your salt. Okay, so the salt you must adjust to your taste. Right? And, um, But when you are cooking, you want to make sure that your everything that you cook is really, very really flavorful. So you need to wake up the flavors with strong spice. It's almost ready, but not quite ready. Like I like I said. The cooked rice has to be halfway cooked. I'm gonna taste it. And if you taste it, you can still feel the grains, you know, inside your mouth. You know, that means that the rice is not ready. Or you have to wait until it's like halfway cooked before you stuff into the turkey. You can add mushrooms in here too, if you have mushrooms. Those are optional. You could be creative. I only give you the base and you could do the rest. Okay, the point you know, pay or you know, you have a more child or a baby to be now. A more more, you have a sort of two a cocoa or a got no yet a jasmine rice. Now they go a big hot place in our vision because we all down brown rice. The more more plan on a big lime chop block hot player. Okay, hmm, I hear you know, they can be. ไม่ออกอีไทยอ่ะเนาะเกมิจอกซีโชโดโหลาตองนะเดี๋ยวจะมาตัวชิโมจิโชโดแล้วก็ตัวจอยอีกทอบราดิวนี่ก็จอยอ
now I'm going to bring you guys to the turkey and we're going to stuff it. And then we are done. You remember to follow, go watch the other channel for the dressing of the turkey, okay? I will post that up. Okay, this is ready. I'm going to take it down. So here we are. I'm going to bring you down to the turkey that I prepared earlier. Can you all see? I will be gladly post the um, dressing for this turkey. Many, many people do the turkey and they just stuff like bread and those are very good too but because we are Asian we love rice we need to stuff rice and I think a lot of Italian people eat rice too so maybe they would like this recipe be a very very good turkey I promise you and remember people eat with their eyes okay people eat with their eyes Everything that we do, it has to be presentable to the king. That's why we are called Nyakopa. Nyatenk means like a daughter-in-law, a bride, a 10,000 10, K right, wife. Okay, so there is my turkey. Okay, and... ready to seal it up. Just remember that when you tie your bag, you need to cut the top of the turkey, the bag. Okay, which you don't want. They do, uh, how about they see, no? Toy look corner, okay? If you don't, the bag might explode. Oh yeah, this turkey is gonna be really good. So at the top of the turkey, at the very top here, we need to get a scissor, wash up knife, and you're going to cut. Okay, you're going to cut about half an inch at the top here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. 
enjoy your turkey now i'm gonna go bake it and i'll show you guys the video when it's all done thank you so so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can follow me on other cookings